Hey, what's up, everybody? The ring around the peace dollar, that's the discussion I would like to have on this video. Today, there's been many people commenting in the comment section of my videos for the last several days talking about how they have been returning their 2023 proof peace dollars back to the United States because of a quality control issue, maybe because damage to the coin. But is it really damage to the coin or is it really a quality control issue? That's the discussion I want to have on this video today. Please hit that thumbs up on the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. But I was on a live stream yesterday on Sunday and we were having this discussion because Department of Numismatics, he actually has a proof 70 piece dollar that he purchased from one, I, I do believe from one of the big online dealers. And I wanted to see if his proof piece dollar, his proof 70 piece dollar had that same ring or if it did not. Now the ring that I'm talking about, I did do a video this past Saturday and I'm gonna try to angle it so we can see the ring exactly that I'm referring to. But so if I angle it like right here, it's very hard because you have to angle it a certain way. If you look at it head on, you really can't see any ring going around anywhere on this piece dollar. But the moment that I angle it a certain direction, that's where you will be able to see it. And it's kind of like right here, where now you should be able to see a little bit of it going over the two, the three, and then going up into the word trust, kind of into the S of the word trust. But it definitely has to be angled on a certain angle to be able to see it really good. Like you can see it right now. Now, I did a video on Saturday, and I thought maybe this could be some sort of a quality control issue. Maybe it was damaged during the packaging of the coin at the mint. I don't know, but I just did not think that this was normal to see something like this. So you can see it right there. However, it was brought up on this live stream that maybe it is a reflection because of the higher rim and sort of concaved fields that maybe instead of it being damaged, it's really a reflection of the higher rim and not anything wrong with the actual coin. Something to probably think about before returning your coins to the United States, because maybe if you're actually seeing a ring and if you're actually seeing that ring go across your entire coin around the entire coin, it's possible that you have one of the better coins, one of the better coins that are evenly struck on center without finning, and then the coins that don't have that ring are actually the worst struck coins and maybe not as, as good of a strike. Now, the other thing to look for if is that there are some people who are saying and it was also shown in that live stream this past Sunday that there was two coins. The MS-70 had really good detail in the hairline, whereas the raw coin that the Department of Numismatics had had really faint hairline. It was a really poorly struck coin and you didn't have all the detail in the hair. So the thing to pay attention to when you're comparing, maybe you have multiple coins, but the thing to pay attention to if you're trying to get an MS-70 maybe, is to look at the detail in the hairline, like right there, right there, and then as you go down, like over by, on, on the device, like over by the cheek on Lady Liberty, look at the hairline here, and then also going like down the neck, and make sure that the hairline is well defined because some coins have a better strike than others. Some coins, the hairline is really defined and in some coins, it's a really weak strike and the hairline, is, it kind of is flat. It's a flat hairline, so to speak, and you don't see the lines going through the hair. So, 
back to the original thing, and that is the line or the ring that you see going through around the coin through the date and you kind of see it right there. It was commented on my last video, well, why don't you just keep it still? And the problem is, is if you look at it head on just like this, you might be able to see it and you kind of do see it going around right here, but it really just looks black, right? It looks black, it's a proof coin. It has proof, a proof finish, it has, the dies are highly polished when they strike this coin. So that's what gives this the mirror-like finish or the proof finish or the reflectivity. And what we could be seeing going around the coin is the reflection of the higher rim. And again, if you have it going all the way around the coin, it could be because you have an evenly struck coin and you could see it going all the way around. But on mine, if you kind of look at it, at the bottom, you kind of see how it has a little bit of a thicker. So if you go around to the right of the coin, but it kind of looks like the rim is a little bit thicker if we look over here to the right. And then as we go to the left, you can see where it gets a little bit thinner. According to my eyes, this is what I'm seeing. It gets a little bit thinner here. And then as you go around, it gets a little bit thicker as you get to the top. And that's because this coin is struck uneven. And then, and then here, if we angle it just like that, that is where we can see that line right there. And this isn't with 100% certainty. There's nothing definitive about this. However, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think this is a quality control issue? Do you think this is damage to the coin? Or is it possible what you are seeing on this coin in reality is the reflection of, because of a combination, like I said before, of a higher rim and somewhat of concaved fields and you're just seeing a reflection off of the rim onto the fields around the coin. And some coins have it better than others. Some coins, that ring or that line is a little bit more defined than others. Like if I go to the side right here, I'm not really seeing it here. See, I'm not seeing it. I'm only kind of seeing it on the bottom. Now, if I angle it, let me know if you see it. But I am definitely not seeing it, at least with my eye, I am not seeing it go around the top and I'm not really seeing it that I can tell going around the side. I'm going to kind of angle it again um, and I'm not seeing it. But if I turn it this way, let me see if I can see it down here if I have it upside down. Bear with me. Okay, so now that I have it upside down before I had it right side up, but here you can definitely see it once again going right there, right across the date and then into the word trust. Now, the question is, the million dollar question is, is it a quality control problem? Is it damage to the coin or is it possible that it's a reflection off of the rim, off of the higher rim of the coin. Um, I would think that I would be able to see it somewhere else on this coin. But again, I tried to get a hold of several people today, tried to pick some brains. I tried to contact one of the big grading companies. Of course, I got nowhere with that, I tried to contact a couple of dealers today. Of course, I got nowhere with that. But all we have left to go off of is speculation. And you can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me, and then if I angle it right there, that's where you can sort of see that line going across it. Let me pick up my other piece dollar and see if we can get another look at it right here. Let me angle it 
This is the other one. Let me turn it right side up. And let's see if we can get a good angle on that. Let's see. Let's see. At that right there, once again, you can see it right there at the bottom of the coin. And there it is. Let me see if I can see it on the side of this coin. Just trying to angle it. I'm not seeing it there. And then let's take a good look at the strike at the hairline. And then to me, with my eyes, it looks pretty well defined that the hairline and then down here. So seems okay on this one, in my opinion. But again, what we're really focused on is that ring going around and then there you have it again. Is that the reflection off of the rim or not? That is the million dollar question. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below. If you have this, are you keeping it or are you sending it back to the mint? That's a big decision that you would have to make. Let me know what your decision would be if you do in fact have that going around. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that Department of Numismatics has a proof 70 and it definitely has that same ring, that same halo, if you want to call it that, going around the coin and pretty much around the entire coin, I do believe. But I'll put a link in the description of this video to that live stream I was on yesterday where we were having that exact discussion. And it would be, I believe it's 48 minutes in where we were discussing it. You can let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments section of this video. Let him know what you think in the comment section of the video of that live stream. Thanks everybody for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Is this a reflection off of the rim or is it damage to the coin? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.